On this historic election night, great to have you with us. I'm Joe Donlon. And I'm Erica Sargent. Let's get right to the races. We already have a projected winner in the race for governor here in Illinois. The AP calling it for incumbent J.B. Pritzker. J.B. Pritzker on his way to a second term. Here's a look at some of the early numbers that are just coming in. But again, AP has projected J.B. Pritzker the winner tonight. CBS2 political investigator Dana Kosloff live in the South Loop at the Pritzker campaign headquarters. Dana. Erica and Joe, hundreds of people are here now in the ballroom at the Marriott Marquis. And I got to tell you, the polls closed a few minutes later. The race was called, and Governor J.B. Pritzker, as you mentioned, uh, named the projected winner for a second term. And it happened so fast that the supporters here didn't even know it was called. There was barely any reaction, and then there was just a flutter of reaction when they saw it up on a screen here. So the governor expected to come out probably in the next half hour or hour to address supporters, and we'll see what he has to say. Joe, Erica. All right. We were wondering about some of the congressional races tightening up. The governor's race not necessarily mentioned as one of those that was expected to be tight. And that's looking the way it's going to happen tonight. Republican State Senator Darren Bailey hoping, of course, for a much different out turn. CBS 2's Charlie DeMar is live at his campaign headquarters in Springfield. Charlie. And within just uh, the last couple of minutes, a campaign staffer, a pretty frantic campaign staffer, came up to reporters and said, just hold on, wait a minute. He says that the, their camp, the Bailey camp, has actually called the AP, saying that the AP is using a rating system, which at this point does lean Democratic. So again, they're still figuring things out. It doesn't appear that people in the room uh, know that the AP has called this race. Uh, the program hadn't started of speakers, uh, really hadn't started. It was just people mingling, getting drinks, eating up until the point that the AP called the race. As soon as that call came in from the AP, that's when pro the program got started here with the Pledge of Allegiance uh, and the Star Spangled Banner. Again, uh, we are still working through this. Uh, we will be alongside Darren Bailey's camp, but a pretty subdued group here in Springfield. All right. Thanks, Charlie.